The principle behind trading comparables is that similar businesses can be used as a market benchmark to establish a valuation range for a corporation. The comparables share key markets, growth prospects, operational drivers and risks. The steps involved in performing trading comparables analysis are Choose comparable companies. Companies in the peer group should be as similar to the valued company as possible. Second step is to calculate equity and enterprise values. Third is to calculate value drivers. An appropriate value driver should be used in, in order to best understand the business and its valuation. The most common are revenues EBIT, EBITDA, and EPS, which is earnings per share and calculated as net income divided by number of shares. The fourth step is to calculate multiple statistics. Common market multiples include the following. Enterprise value to sales, enterprise multiple, enterprise value to EBITDA and EBIT, PE ratio or price to earnings ratio, which is price per share divided by earnings per share and others. The fifth step is to interpret the output and select a valuation range. There are no hard and fast rules about how, how to interpret the output of the trading comparables analysis. Experience is significant. But in all cases, the better the weight of evidence, the better the valuation. Here's how the trading comparable model looks like. We have four comparable companies, Coca-Cola, Monster Beverage Corporation, PepsiCo, and National Beverage Corporations. All of them are from the same industry and similar sized companies. So here we would need to find out the share price, market cap, which is equity value, enterprise value, uh, revenue or sales, EBITDA, EBIT, and EPS earnings per shares as values, and then calculate multiples based on those numbers. After that, we would find the maximum, minimum, and average amounts of each multiple and compare it with Coca-Cola. You can see that Coca-Cola is just along the lines with its peer groups here. And then we can calculate a range for implied enterprise value based on the analysis we performed above. And here you can see that the valuation range for implied enterprise value would be from 204 billion to 307 billion dollars. We will build this model in the following video. Trading comparable companies analysis provides a current valuation based on the market situation. As a consequence, it may be more relevant than intrinsic tools such as DCF. However, traded prices can be subject to periods of extreme volatility, which affects the valuation. No two businesses are exactly the same, so the degree of comparability of the peers is always subjective.